All right, campers. Today we're going to have a little experiment in uh, specific gravity, basically directed at gold prospecting. And uh, what we're going to do is we have two preformed bottles here. Now the uh, that is what a two-liter soda bottle looks like before it's uh, put in the mold and blown up and filled with Pepsi or Coke or whatever your favorite beverage is. All right, what I'm going to do is I have, uh, uh, let's see, I'm going to have to top these things off so there's exactly the same amount of water in each one. And there we go. Absolutely full and absolutely full. All right. Now I've got a piece of quartz right here that comes out of a stream, all right? And I also have a little piece of gold, which is approximately the same circumference, but uh, the quartz is a little chunkier, shall we say. The, uh, the gold is pretty flat. All right, I'm going to put drop these both simultaneously into the bottles, and let's see who makes it to the bottom fastest. Here we go. Okay, I think I think the gold won. As a matter of fact, I'm sure the gold won. Because the gold is the heaviest thing in a stream. All right? Now, if you imagine a pan full of gravels and stuff, and you start agitating that pan, what's going to happen? That gold is going to drop to the bottom of that pan so fast, it's almost quicker than you can blink. All right? So I, uh, I see a lot of videos where everybody's out there just shaking those pans like, uh, I don't know, they're making popcorn or something. But basically you don't have to do that. You just have to make sure that your very first initial stratification and shaking is a good one. Mix the material up with your fingers, shake it on out, and make sure your pan is full of water. And believe me, all that gold is going to be right at the bottom of your pan and allow you to pan right out. 